I'm Duncan McGregor, I'm the projection manager here at the National Media Museum and I've been overseeing the technical uh, design and installation of Super High Vision. Super High Vision is the next advancement and stage in high definition broadcasting. It's been developed by NHK, the Japanese broadcasters in, uh, in Japan. Um, they've been working in cooperation with the BBC to showcase it for the very first time uh, during as part of the Olympics. There are going to be only six locations in the world where the public will be able to see this for the first time during the Olympics. Two in Japan, one in Washington and three here in the UK. BBC London, BBC Pacific Keys in Glasgow and the National Media Museum in Bradford. So it's very state of the art. So we need to get the screen out and start. We need to, st we'll start in that corner, run across the top. Front. The outside of the roll is the back of it. That's the front on yeah. the inside. Oh yeah, I can so see that. what we want to do is get it over there, roll it across the top if we can. We started the build of the super high vision infrastructure here in the Cubby Broccoli Cinema um, last night. You may be able to see behind me uh, the truss installation, the black truss installation. The reason for the truss is, um, although super high vision is very state of the art in terms of uh, picture quality, to complement that, what they've come up with is a 22.2 immersive surround sound experience. Conventional cinema uses either 5.1 or 7.1 surround, so the sound is very, very detailed to complement the detail within the picture. I think the picture quality is fantastic. I think it's a wonderful experience. It's very different to conventional viewing currently they, because, they're still, because it's still in the very early stages of development. The cameras are still very prototype so and it's so incredibly expensive to produce and manufacture because the way they're currently looking at it is it's designed for you to emulate how you would feel sat in a stadium or sat in the, uh, in the seating of the Olympic pool or the velodrome. So you see everything that the audience sees. So you see the audience in front of you, you see what's happening around the sides of the track, as well as the event taking place. So it's, it's a very different style of um, viewing compared to uh, what people are traditionally used to. Um, I'm from NHK and NHK is a public broadcaster in Japan. Uh, so it's like BBC in the UK. But uh, what we bring here is what is called super high vision. Super high vision is a quite uh, high resolution uh, video system, an audio system. And the, the resolution is 16 times as high as uh, normal high vision, what you see in the television now. And the sound system, it's 22.2 channels. So it's kind of 3D sound system. So with this video system and the sound system, they can feel actually being in the scene. Here at the museum, we'll be broadcasting on the hour um, for the duration of the Olympics between 12 and 6 o'clock. All the tickets are free, so you can simply go online or go to come to a box office and book your tickets to see it. And what you will get is basically a, a 45 minute show. The stage will be set so that you'll receive a, you should receive a brief exp explanation of what it is you're about to see, why you're watching it, what the, how, how state of the art it is, what the, how the technology differs, and then you will get to see 40 minutes of um, an Olympic sporting event. Um, there'll be cameras based in the uh, Olympic Stadium, the Athletic Stadium. There'll be one in the um, swimming pool and I believe there's one in the velodrome for the cycling. Um, so th there'll, be, there'll be an opportunity to see various, um, various events.